Hi guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Today we are working on a BMW X3 E83 and we are going to show you how to replace the engine mounts. Okay, the passenger and the driver engine mounts right here. We got them pretty inexpensive on eBay for about 100, p uh, 100 bucks both actually. They are German made by Hamburg Technik right there. Quality spare parts. It's not like uh, the original BMW ones, but those are really good too. We used them in the past and they were great. So stay with us to see how we are going to replace them. Okay, the very first thing that we need to do, we need to remove this plastic piece right here and we already got it loose. There is a nut here with 10 millimeter wrench and four or five screws with eight millimeter socket or wrench right there. So we can get more access to the engine bay underneath. And now we need to remove the plastic right there underneath with pliers, you, you pull the clips like that, the, the center piece comes out and then the, the whole clip comes out of there. There is two of those and, and now with a 16 millimeter wrench or well a socket will be more convenient in our case and a ratchet right there. We're going to remove this cross member piece right here, that metal plate. It has four bolts holding it, two in the front and two in the back. So we can get more access and reach the engine mounts. We will be doing almost everything from underneath the vehicle. So you either need to put it on, drive it on the ramps and put jack stands underneath it. Like that, as you can see, safety first. So we have more people to work on things. And after we remove the metal plate and you can see how much more room we have, the bond differential there. And this is one of the engine mounts right here and the other one in the corner right there. Okay guys, what we need to do next, we need to remove the airbox so we can reach the, the driver side engine mount so we can get the, the center nut loose. So what we need to do, we need to undo the clips like we are going to replace the the air fielder. Okay, there is two on the back and one right here. Like that. Okay, and one on the front. And now, what do we also need to do right here? We already did that. That clamp right here with a flathead screwdriver. Get it loose to where you can pull the intake holes out of the air lid. Like that. And now you just pull it out of there. Like that. Careful for the wire. Okay, it's still attached here for the mass airflow sensor. We will not even need to remove it because you can just put it right there on the side of the engine. And now right here these two bolts we got them loose with a 10 millimeter socket. These two. And we can pull the airbox assembly out of there. Right here it's holding the wire, so we need to pull that thing out. Okay, you just pull, pull it out. And now the air filter box should come out of there, like that. And you can see all the room that we have now. Okay, so right here now on the, on the passenger side, Okay, 16 millimeter socket with long extensions, very long extensions. And right there, you see that's the engine mount right here. And you can get the socket on it, 16 millimeter again. And we can take the center bolt like that, the center nut, the big nut. Okay, those are very tight usually. And that's how we remove it from the top on this side because on the bottom you don't have room to get it and it's very tight so you cannot do it with a little ratchet. Okay, as you can see this is the engine mount right there and the nut that we took off the center nut. Okay, right there. Okay guys, so we took the center nut off already and now Right here, what we need to do, we need to put the jack underneath the engine, right there with a the wood bulk. Never use the jack because that aluminum 
everything's aluminum underneath and you don't want to punch a hole in anything and we need to jack the car up like the engine up only the engine not the car be careful just a little bit until the engine engine mount comes out of that black okay so now we jack the engine up just a little bit to support it and right here we have two bolts that's the, old, the, the new engine mount just to show you and that's the socket that you need Torx E10 right here that's what it looks like so you're going to do that underneath the vehicle but I cannot make a good take a good video right there and let me see one is on the inside and one is right there under this wire okay right there we can reach a little bit better now so you need to take both of them completely off okay and you can just use the socket in the end because if you use the ratchet it's going to get stuck there it's limited room and the more you unscrew the ball the more it goes up so it's going to block your ratchet and now we need to do the one on the right side on the outside of the engine mount whoops that's for the blue pot section right there and we unscrew the second one right here all the way down Okay, now we need the 16 millimeter socket and that swivel thing right here and a long extension again. And we need to get to the center bolt again on the driver shaft, on the driver side, right there. And those are tight usually, so we need to take the nut off all the way. Oops, that was the camera. That's the only way to take it off because there is no room underneath the vehicle for that bolt. You cannot use the ratchet there. And now you need a T45. Okay, right there, T45. The star looking socket. Okay, those are the side bolts here and here. And so now we need to get to one of them. Okay, now you need a T20, T45 now. And we're going to get the front bolt of the engine mount those two side bolts that I showed you okay this is the front one and this right here is the steering shaft right there it's very uncomfortable and tight fit but you'll be able to get it slowly okay we remove the front one and now the, the rear one right there it's easier to access from the back from the vehicle right here so we should be able to get it all pretty easy okay guys we got all of uh, both mounts loose now so what do you need to do now so what do you need to do now you need to place the jack in the center of the engine right there and you jack it up as you can see the engine is going up so we can get the engine mounts out okay Okay, now this is the passenger side engine mount and it's about to come out, you might need to pump it one or two times, okay right there, this is the mount and as you can see this one is completely gone, you see all the play, it was vibrating like crazy, okay and this is the new mount now, it just goes there in the hole and it's, it goes only in a certain angle, so you have to play with it and get it there. You need to probably put the bolt in the hole first and then the rest of the mount. Okay, right there, it just goes like that. And now you can just sketch the two bolts, just start tightening them a little bit. But we're going to finish them later once we install both engine mounts, the new mount. So we can get them there and put the engine on the mounts and then tighten everything if you don't have enough room you might have to move the jack a little bit to the side that you're working on so we can jack it up just a little bit more so we can get more clearance and that way make sure that it goes right there in the hole and the bolt so you don't mess up the the thread on the bolt okay and it is going down now and we're going to reposition the jack a little bit 
and go towards the driver's side so we can get more clearance and move the mount that's on the left side okay this is the driver's side and this thing came in two pieces out and we repositioned the jack a little bit to the left of the engine okay you can see completely shot okay guys we got the new driver's side engine mount in but this one this one is very complicated the right way to do that is you need to drop the subframe a little bit so you can actually put the uh, the engine mount right there but what we did we unhooked the steering wheel right here and as you can see the steering wheel is down there that, that pipe and the way we unhooked it we just dropped the engine mount from here from the top and we dropped it in the in the hole there and now what we need to do is just put the bolts the two bolts and the nut and we need to put the steering wheel back together it's the right way I said again is probably to drop the subframe on it right here but it's a lot of work and we just messed with it it took us about half an hour but we got it there you can find on the forums maybe more information and see how other people did it but it saved us quite a bit of time doing it that way so all, we, so all you need to do now is just put the, all the bolts on the engine mounts and nuts and tighten them and put the airbox back together and that's the whole procedure thank you guys for watching us if you have any questions let us know and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for about 5 new videos every week